Oh, good morning, everyone. We are live, Kathy. Oh my God. Yeah, barely, barely. We had a long weekend. <laughs> it is Monday, August no! 3rd, yes, 2022. <laughs> Already? Uh, yeah. Uh, you want to just do this? Yeah, just, just to do it. Hit it. <laughs> Monty Moore. I'm a 30-year comics veteran in comics, games, and movies, and you've been watching one of my absolute favorite podcasts, Catch the Craze. You are watching Catch the Craze. What am I listening to? And you're listening to Catch the Craze. Where are all the indies at? A Catch the Craze podcast. What are you watching? I'm watching Catch the Craze. What are you going to do? Subscribe now to Catch the Craze, the number one show online for independent. Have you subscribed to? You are an independent. Catch the Craze! Making moves on your own. Catch the Craze! On your grind in the streets. Catch the Craze! Join the movement. Catch the Craze! run out for a split second because I, I, I knew I was forgetting something, but uh, no, we're good. We're all good. We're all good. Um, so welcome everybody to another episode of TR2 TV, our favorite show on the internet, whatever this is. Yeah. <laughs> you know. There you go. So um, welcome everybody. August 1st already. The, the to-do list has been reset. <laughs> And it's time for another round of panicking. <laughs> so, oh, <we'll> boy. <laughs> hello, everybody. My name is Daphne Lage, and I'm a cartoonist, illustrator, and a comic book artist from New York. Um, oh, am I? Oh, yes. <laughs> I forgot. I, I was. Uh, th these are the headphones that I was uh, wearing today. Um, I have been self-publishing since 1992, and I am known for the funny animal fantasy adventure tall tales which oh my god i should be getting the books very very soon probably the next couple of days i can finally fulfill this thing i swear thank you everybody for supporting the campaign um and i am also known for my medieval fantasy soap opera drama ego raven heir of the first unicorn now volume one collecting issues one through four i can't believe we're here already so launches 
August 22nd, 2022, as opposed to any other time. And the links are in the show notes, so you can sign up for the pre-launch page and get notified when the campaign goes live, because I got some first day goodies that always, always go really, really quickly. So um, you want to make sure that you get that you sign up for the pre-launch page so you don't miss anything because yeah usually within the first couple of hours these things are gone but we'll talk about that later uh you can read both my comics online at tall tales t-a-i-l-s online.com and egoworks.com e-g-o-w-r-k-s and you can check out all my videos on how i make my comics here on youtube on my channel at daphne lage l-a-g-e art which also simulcasts through the rage and two network so make sure you hit my notification button nita's notification buttons all the notification buttons all the bells all the buttons all the whistles make the algorithm gods happy um it doesn't cost you a thing and also you get notified whenever any of our shows go live uh which means you don't miss anything anywhere so there you have it it's that simple nita take it away uh, my name is Nina Lanning. I am a writer, vlogger, blogger from Southeast Louisiana. I am executive producer of the Region 2 Broadcast Network. Oh, there you go. And uh, yes, and speaking of transformations, your uh, right. back wall it's just like, is oh. getting more and more naked. More naked. <laughs> it's going to be completely <laughs> naked by hopefully this afternoon because right, uh, yeah. my paper is supposed to come in tomorrow i believe oh and so I you have built to have the shelves them. last night yeah it's gonna be sexy as fuck oh, when i'm done that's with it nice. yeah and you were doing some tricks with the uh with the frames uh the painting wasn't working out so you mm -hmm. used uh, duct tape, duct tape, and Hot yeah, I, duct tape. I think it works like a charm. So you know, yeah. why why spend money when you don't have to? It's like, <laughs> you, know, you know. So welcome everybody to another episode. So who's in the chat today? Who's joining us? Uh, We've today? got Peter, who will be joining us oh. at eleven thirty with Mark Torres. Oh yes, and we we'll have discussing their book, Designated Issue One. Yes, which I think uh, what launched uh, yesterday. I yesterday, think it last night. It's yeah, yesterday or the day before. Well, yeah, recent, very, very recently. Yeah, very okay. recently. Mike, Jimmy, oh, as very always, nice. and a always. whole bunch of people that are being really secretive. Pops, what's up? Oh, yeah, and I hope, uh, a mysterious I hope Pops Facebook is... user. Oh, declare yourself, sir. If you, you are know? watching from Facebook or Twitter, please hop over to YouTube, like and subscribe to the channel, and say hi again so we can always see who you are. Right? Yeah, Facebook is uh, being a pest as always. So Patrick's uh, here. Oh, hello, hello, everybody's here. Thank you, thank you for going. Yes, uh <laughs> that is actually the work schedule that from June and July. Uh, yeah. So once I put it back on the wall, it'll be updated. Right. Oh, there you go. So we didn't forget anything when we took down uh, the whiteboard. No, right um, now so it's on paper. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, exactly. So yes, uh, yes, and I want to uh, acknowledge the eight people that are currently watching us from regions beyond as nita says if you're if you're watching us from facebook or from twitter come on over to youtube uh so that you don't have to worry about uh oh you're very fresh yes oh absolutely um yes uh oh saturday okay yes yes you're you're fresh out of the oven that's true <laughs> so, but we'll talk more about it you know at, at the half hour mark uh, but uh yeah so come on over and uh join the sexy people in the chat um, you know, and it's like, yeah, and don't worry that then that way, that way we don't have to worry about uh, any Facebook nonsense. So, oh, yeah. uh, so is there any, uh, housekeeping that, uh, we have, uh, before, uh, I don't um, know. Um, we, we got the usual going right? down. Oh, we got we go. Sunrise Blossom one through three is available in pre-launch pre right pre now on Kickstarter. And of course, Roadkill Rampage right. is ramping it up. Tina and Rodney are on their way for their best campaign. I know it. I can feel it. They're right. doing it. They're killing it. That's on Kickstarter. Lots of gore, lots of violence, right. lots of mystery. Yeah, uh, awesomeness. You know, a lot of a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, it's like, uh, oh yes, <laughs> and of course, and if you want to ask us a question or have a comment or there's complaint. some topic, a complaint. Yes, I love complaints. complaints. Yeah, or you just have something you want us to talk about. I mean, it's like if you're unable to join us in the chat, um, yes, you can email us at rageandavc at gmail .com, and uh, most likely than not, we will try to answer your questions or your complaints. You know, we're not afraid. We are absolutely not afraid. <laughs> yeah, so stop hitting my DMs and send me an email. Right, exactly. You know, 
Um, wow. So yeah, I mean, a lot of com campaigns are starting up. I just sent out uh, my, uh, well, I, I made a new, new, God, it's like, I, I don't know how to keep my thoughts straight right now. There's just so much going on. The first of the month is always like this for me. Like I said, the to-do list got uh, reset. Find it, Daphne. Yeah, I know. It's like, it's a lot going on. Um, Cause t this month, this this month is when I start inking. I actually started inking Eagle Raven issue six, you know. So um, yeah, so I have I have to get this thing done in August so that I can get the flats done. Now it's just trying to get all the books for next year done this year, and it sounds like I have a lot of time, but I don't. You know, it's like you figure, oh, December. You know, it's like we'll have everything done by December, and then before. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. And, and you know, it's like, no, okay, let's focus, focus, right? Um, and then, of course, I have the layouts to issue eight that I have to finish as well. So it's like that one's not as bad. I think I have I'm more than halfway done through the book. Hey, um, so at least that. But that's that's pretty much, hey, Marvie, uh, that's pretty much my August. Um, I'm just also just tidying up some final things, some final commissions. Um, I'm going to be getting some stuff done today as well. I Yeah, I just have, uh, it, I, I'm hitting the ground running, Nita. I'm hitting the Ooh. ground running. Um, so what, what do you have? What do you well, have aside from the office, of course? The office is priority right now, but also uh, taking, uh, just taking care of the usual commission work and, uh, and also for me right now, it's getting ready for school. I am not crying, people. I made dumplings this morning for breakfast, and the canola oil on the stove has set my eyes off for some reason. Oh, no. So, like, nobody they, worry. I'm okay. Right. okay. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like it's very tragic the first of the month, as always, oh, you know. God. You know, that, that's why I always keep baby wipes nearby, because it's like you never know what's going to ir be irritating. God, am I oh. Fucking fire this morning too. Well, yeah. you know, like, hey, now you got that whole heroin chic going. So, yeah. Oh my god, I can totally very, do that right now. 90s. All I got to do is yeah. drag my fingers down one time, right. Daphne. Exactly. You know, but yeah. So, um, so yeah. So I had mentioned that uh, Eager Raven, and we have 22 days uh, before the launch of Eager Raven Volume One, which I still can't believe I'm at that point. Oh yes, got you see, yeah, gotta keep it, gotta keep it moving, Mike Jimmy, gotta keep it moving. You know, because consistency is better than perfection. Always remember that, everybody. Don't worry. It's like, look, if you can always fix it later. But the idea is to just keep it moving, you know, because that's that's what you need. You need to get that momentum going. Oh, thank you. Yes, I have a article uh, in the next uh, Comics Unlimited that uh, Glenn Fleming has released. Um, so yeah, and I did the cover Yay. too. A nice little Jack uh, Kirby homage. So uh, I'm hoping everybody in, enjoys that. So. So yeah, so with the upcoming campaign for Eager Raven Volume 1, um, I just want to reiterate, reiterate how important it is for people to sign up for the pre-launch page, even though we still have 22 days left before the actual launch. Because uh, last night, I actually put together the swag bag uh -oh. that uh, I, I always have for the, the, the first pledgers. So I just wanted to show off uh, what uh, you will be getting um, if you are one of the first 45 people to pledge, to, to make a physical pledge on the campaign uh, on the day it opens. And here's the thing. Usually on the, by the end of the first day, I have around like 60 something people who already pledge. So uh, if you want this, this grab bag, this swag bag that I have, you have to you have to be on it on that first day, or you're gonna miss out on it. Just so show us the goods, right. man. This is the so so this is the the swag bag, the complete swag bag. But I'm gonna show you what's in it. I'm gonna show you what's in it. So the first 45 people to make physical pledges will have this added to their pledge at no additional cost, just for showing up on that first day. And like I said, these things usually go really fast. So the first thing that uh, you're going to get is this uh, Eagle Raven sticker sheet, you know? <laughs> no, it is not a pony, but it, it could be pictures of a pony. It's a kind of ish 
pictures of a pony. But uh, yes, it's uh, so you get this sticker sheet, this vinyl sticker sheet, um, in in the in the bag, and then you get this circle sticker that uh, features the image from the trade paperback cover. So you get that as well. And then you get a really, really cute holographic sticker to go with it. I mean, you can you can cover your entire laptop with this uh, bag, right? Oh, and of course, for those of you who are not really into stickers, but prefer something a little bit, uh, you know, more durable. So we have this magnet. About time. Yeah, this is a, another magnet that uh, you're also going to get in uh, the, the bag. And then, all, I was, and then it's like all the special, then there's these, these two little special things which are, are my favorite. You get a pin back. You also get a new pin for all your denim jackets that I know you're all still wearing. So you get this pin right here of the crew, you know? And, and... I think this might be my favorite. You get a keychain. <laughs> you also get an acrylic keychain, you know. And so, yeah. So this is going to be what uh, the first 45 people on uh, who pledge to physical levels on the campaign, um, they're going to uh, they're going to get. So you're going to get this in your yeah. Thank you. Yes, your your fridge needs this magnet. Um, yes, and so that's why you go to the links down below in the show notes. You click no patch yet. No patch yet. We're we're, we're kind of you know we're kind of slowly getting through all the different uh, all, all the different swag that uh, we have. Um, also, let me see if I have a little bit more time to show this off. Another reason, uh -oh. uh, another uh, another thing that I think everyone will uh, like, because, you know, in the end, it's like, I'm just that person. Um, so, yes. Yeah, so another reason why you should uh, keep an eye on the campaign and, pl and know when it goes live to is so that you don't miss out on this, of course, this exclusive, exclusive cover that I am making for the trade paperback campaign. Now, see, that's the thing. You know, trade paperbacks, you can't really do variant covers for. You know, it's a, it's, it's a not really feasible, especially at the amount at, at the amount that, that we usually sell at as in, in indie creators. But uh, for those of you who love collectible covers, um, this campaign is for you. So uh, for those of you who, who support the campaign, you will be able to get access to a brand new, the infamous, the infamous Victoriana nude cover is coming back in a second edition. This is the... <laughs> Oh, a copyright strike for everybody. So uh, I, I did a brand new cover. It's, it's the second version of my Victoriana nude cover, which I did for the second issue campaign. We're bringing it back. Um, and uh, this is going to be a reprinting of Eager Raven, Eager Raven issue one, right, with this variant cover, nude variant cover that comes in four flavors comes in regular, our silver foil edition, our virgin edition, which doesn't have any logos on it, and the ever popular hollow edition. They will be available as either a set on a level or you can get them individually as uh, add-ons. But it will be limited to the campaign. So if you, if you miss out on the campaign, you're missing out on this cover because I'm not making extras. It's like whatever... Uh, whatever uh, uh, gets pledged on in the campaign, that's what I'm printing. And that's it. Yes, so that's also another reason why you want to make sure you're signed up on the for the pre-launch so that you don't miss out on anything. So remember, the first 45 people get this, gets this uh, swag bag. And like I said, usually by the end of the first day, I have like 60 something people signing, you know, uh, pledging. So these go pretty quickly. Everybody likes these things. 
So, uh, and also, like I said, you can get the uh, nude cover. Yes, exactly. Uh, you can get the the Eager Raven nude cover uh, reissue of uh, issue one uh, to go with your volume one. Um, but again, it's like, it's limited edition. It's limited only to people who pledge to it. And that's it. So you see, so that's the thing. That's the reason why you should always pay attention to pre-launches. Um, yeah, I know. Right. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> oh my gosh. I know. You know, but yeah, so that's uh, so that's what's coming up on uh, on the Eagle Raven campaign in 22 days, just to give everybody a taste. Um, and also, if you want to see some previews of some other like special edition prints and whatnot that I'm going to have on that campaign, make sure you're signed up to my newsletter at eagleworks.com. I've been sending out a weekly email for uh, the past couple of weeks, uh, showing everybody pre art previews and whatnot the limited edition art prints, the stretch goals, some new things um, that uh, that I've just been working on for funsies. You know, it's like just, you know, just to kind of, you know, get everybody, you know, get everybody excited for the campaign, which I hope you you are anyway, because like I said, uh, the first four issues um, already in the trade paperback, I'm still kind of. It's wild. Yeah, you know, it kind of feels like just yesterday I put that first issue out. And it's like, oh, I'm 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 laying out issue eight now. So it's like, because uh, right before the show that you were saying that um, that you know, as you're cleaning out your office, you're realizing that um, individual issues are just not cutting it for you anymore. Right? It's, not, it's just I don't have the space. I've got boxes and boxes and boxes. Yeah. And it's like, you know, a number one on an indie is going to have to be something really spectacular for me to back right. it right now. Yeah. Uh, physically, I, I'll get digital still. But uh, for, for a couple of reasons. One, it takes up so much damn space. And two... Uh, one thing I can't stand is getting something that's promised is it's going to be like a continuation, like, and book one comes out and it's like, yes, this is awesome. And you never fucking hear from that artist again. Yeah, that no, happens, or, or yeah. writer, that yeah. happens so, so many times. Like I was looking, I've got like at least 30 number ones that were left on cliffhangers that I'll never it's like man. that's yeah i know that that's that's really a shame and it's like yeah and it's like and yeah and it takes us cleaning out the office Thank to realize you. yeah to realize like how bad that is you know that's like holy crap it's like i really don't have the space for floppies anymore for individual issues it's like um yeah and, and also it's like uh yeah <laughs> Counting to two, counting to four, counting to six. <laughs> I, I mean, it's like, you know, I mean, in the end, that's why they tell you don't start off with your grand epic. But, you know, it, it, that sometimes even doing a three issue limited series never makes it that far. So, yeah, right. You know, which is a shame because there's a lot of good books out there. And it's just like, I don't know. It's like a lot of creators just. I, I don't know. We know, you know what, a lot of them. I think it is they release that issue one, and right. so many people come in thinking easy money, right? Yeah, and it's not. This is a hard game. Yeah, people. exactly. I mean, a it's hard a grind. game. It's it's a grind, it's a grind, no, matter grind no matter what you do. Yeah, and there are so many nuances and things to figure out. And they get in there and they do this spectacular issue one, and it barely funds and then right. they're like uh i got just enough to cover the printing call and they just give up right yeah which is which, like i said it's a shame you know it really uh, is but you know but the thing is on our end it's like now it's like you know i'm looking at my limited shelf space now definitely and it's just like yeah it's like um yeah i can only afford trade paperbacks like you have to work your way to a trade paperback um for me to be able to, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Too many moving parts. They don't, they, they really underestimate that. Um, and, and yeah, and it's like, yeah, it's like, okay, you have a trade paperback. I'm in, I'm more likely to support you, but it's like, if it's going to be like an issue one or an issue two, um, it's like, oh, I'm probably going to have to hold off on that. You know, it's like, because, you know, yeah, it's like a limited space, and yeah, trades are just a lot easier for me right now. So, so yeah, so there, <clears throat> there's a bunch of you that I'm watching, you know, don't worry. It's like, I'm, there's a bunch of you that I'm watching that I, 
I'm pretty confident it looks like they're going to be releasing a trade paperback. So when you do that, I'm there. There's a, there's a couple of campaigns out there. It's like, I know I have a trade paperback, right? Yeah. You're going to, you're going to get one. So, um, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, except, they are you know, exceptionally active this morning. Now. Yeah, they are. They, they really are. I mean, sometimes, uh, cause you know what it is? It's not as hot in, in the office yeah. right now. My ass is nice too. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. Um, yeah, it's not as uh, hot in, in the office. We finally made it down to 79 degrees. Oh, they're celebrating. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, it's a little rainy, it today. you know? So, yeah, because, uh, I mean, it's like, look, that's also... Hey, again, declare yourself Facebook user. Yeah, Facebook user. Head over to YouTube and say hi. You know, so, um, yeah, so it's like I'm not as melty today, you know, mm -hmm. but it's still kind of, it's still a little gross but not as bad you know so um at least we can make it through the show without me having to turn on the ac so that's good because really i am not looking forward <laughs> to any of these uh, electric bills coming up you know oh gosh you know but uh but yeah but that's um so yeah so that's pretty much uh, what's going on with us um, so yes, yeah, so uh, Mark uh, Mark is patiently waiting in the green room. I mean, we have about five minutes, but you know what? There's no reason for us to to wait uh, until the exact eleven thirty. So why don't uh, we show some love and uh, then we'll bring him in, and then we get to find out uh, what his take Come on, on Peter. the grind is. You know, <laughs> so so go ahead. So. So yeah, let's show some love and we'll be right back. Infamous gunslinger Desmond Gibbons, better known across the Wild West as the Cactus Kid, comes to the sleepy town of Clarkson. Trouble finds him in the unlikeliest of sources, the Sheriff. After their conflict, the Cactus Kid finds himself inexplicably wearing the badge of a lawman. Later, while on the trail of a serial killer, he and his deputy run afoul of a powerful druid, and the events that lead to the Cactus Kid's transformation into the hulking, four-armed projectile reptile are even more than the druid bargained for. From the Wild West to current-day Los Angeles, where he meets superheroes Black Eagle and Red Hawk, and forms an uneasy alliance with the stunning but deadly Kitty Hawk. Join the projectile reptile on a journey of gunslinging druidic magic, superheroes, and artifacts. Projectile Reptile from Dojo Kun Comics, only on Indiegogo. Are you ready for the truly Wild West? Uh, yes, sir, we are after that video. <laughs> All right, really? Hello, hello, everybody. Hello, hello, right, ladies. Usually it takes a convention Ooh. for us to actually see your faces. <laughs> I think this is like the first time because usually like Peter is drawing and Mark is just, you're just on your radio circle there. So, <laughs> Well, I do have a face for radio. Yes. But, <laughs> but. I, I went over <laughs> the uh, conversation that uh, you and I had with JD uh -huh. many, many times. And one of them was like, you got to get everything working for your uh, digital studio. So right. that's what I did. Oh, oh, so there you go. So yeah, I mean, yeah, because it's like, especially, you know, it's now that you're doing the, the circuit, you know, the, the, the Kickstarter crowdfunding circuit, you know, people want to put a face to the, uh, the book. So, uh, you yeah, know, it's like, yeah, so before we get into that, it's like, why don't uh, you guys tell the peoples who you are? I am Mark Torres. I came from radio uh, host. Uh, the official of the Big Apple Con, and I'm also the creator and um, writer of the book designation. And? <laughs> I think Peter's frozen. Oh, no! I am... Am I? Yeah, well, you do have uh, a delay just... going. Hey, yeah. Why don't you? Yeah, it's like, yeah. Do. Why don't you go to the? I was about to say because sometimes Streamyard it gives you a hassle with the video but not the audio. So hit it. <laughs> yeah. So I am Peter Palmiotti. I've been uh, inking comics since 1991. Uh, worked for Marvel, DC, Valiant. Uh, had a few books through Image, but mostly I worked on independent comics and. Uh, along with Designated that I'm doing with Mark, um, getting together my own book, Retro, soon to be on IGG this fall, winter, <laughs> coming up. 
<laughs> right there you go yeah by the end of the year <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, so, yeah. so Mark, I mean, it's like, so we've known each other for like a, a long time and um, I've always seen this character, uh, Sun, Sunburst, right? That, uh, you, yes. you know, ever since you, even with the radio uh, station, you've always had, you've always had this character associated with you and your, and your radio show. So, it, so, so what happened recently that now you're like going okay now i'm gonna finally do it all right so before we get to the, the questions i this has been sitting with me for the past four or five days and this um i wanted to tell you okay. uh the cast the craze promo was the first time i've ever seen without your glasses oh. so I, I was just like <laughs> that's weird and the second thing was um you guys had a stream mm -hmm. the other day about talking about social media and uh, about getting that feeling and I, right. I was typing the story, but it was too long to fit in the in the chat. So I was like, I'll tell you on Monday. So I want to tell the story before we get into it. Okay, so hit um, it. <laughs> I was working in a movie theater and I had a friend, um, I was a coworker, a manager, and I kind of had hots for her. Uh -huh. And she was very popular on social media at the time when, you know, this is about 10 years ago. And I got her um, a, a piece of artwork and she loved it. I had a friend of mine draw it because she loves zombies, draws a zombie. And she loved it in person. I'm, I'm working with her. She loved it. She told everybody about it, but she never posted it online. And that bothered me. Uh -huh. And I was waiting and waiting. I was like, why isn't she posting it online? Why isn't she posting it online? And one day it just it got to me. And I said, hey, how come you didn't post it on? Did you not like it? And she goes, I loved it, but I was waiting to put it in a frame before I was going to post it online. Yeah. And that was when I learned never to fall into the pit yeah. of the online yeah, versus exactly. reality. Yeah. Exactly. You know, it's like, you know, yeah, it's like you're waiting for the virtual part of that shoe to drop. And it's yeah. like when when you already knew that I that did love the piece and everything. I did. And, and that made me feel like such an idiot <laughs> for calling her out on it, you know, right. especially <laughs> she was right there. So that's something to learn about yeah. reality versus the virtual. No, absolutely. Yeah, so I, I know. Had, so I, had to, I had to share that. Yeah, no, social media, you know, it makes us crazy like that. But uh, but yeah, it's so, digital masquerade. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So so tell us about your little uh, journey, your little journey uh, from radio host to doing a comic with this character that I've always associated you with. So okay. So um, Sunburst is a creation I had made a long time ago, which actually is sort of adjacent to this actual campaign. The actual campaign is about um, superheroes on a low key scale. But Sunburst is like my, my uh, favorite of the super powerful superhero that you make back in the day. I went to uh, comic book school in uh, 1994, uh, New York Academy of Comic Book Arts and Fantasy Illustration in Manhattan. Ooh. And yeah, it sounds it sounds fancier than it really was. Okay. <laughs> um, well, it's kind of like uh, the high school of art and design and whatnot. You know, it's like the the name is more prestigious than what actually happens. Right. So I always hey, wanted to make comics. Too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. We're all alumni. All right. <laughs> uh, always wanted to be in comics. That's one thing. And I came out the womb, wanted to do comic books, and I was doodling. And she was one of the characters that I made uh, was Sunburst, and I just really liked her. And so she's been my character who I always wanted to get out there. And she actually uh, was in the uh, War of Independence issue number two crossover uh, with Phaser of Marianne and Cezia, uh, tied to the War of Independence um, uh, six issue series that I think he's on issue five now over the past 30 years. Well, but it happens. You see, that's what we were talking about. You know, put a trade paper back out. <laughs> and and uh, my character was uh, her first appearance was in that book. And uh -huh. so then that kind of gave me the motivation to just keep her going. But in the school, um, one of the conversations at the time, remember, this is the 90s, mm -hmm. was that, oh, if I come up with an idea, the big companies are going to steal it. And the discussion was, well, then you should. A, they'll just hire you instead of stealing your stuff, or you make something that you're willing to let go of right. and, and, and willing to lose part of the, the IP as it's called now. Right. So back then I was like, okay, so I have this idea for a comic book, but I don't want to lose it. So I have to make another idea that I'm willing to let go. And that's where Designated came from. It was my backup story idea because so at the time, funny. once again, in the 90s, yeah. I was told in the school, you can make your own comic book for $2,000. Right. And that seemed feasible to do in the 90s. Apparently, 
since we're 30 years later, it was not as yeah. easy as you would think it is to have to make $2,000 just to make yeah. a comic book. Yeah. You know, especially if you're talking about hiring people and, you know, having to the logistics of, and also it's like the fact that, you know, you have to, you have to print like 3000 copies just to, you know, it, it's, yeah, it's a, the, the landscape was a lot different back then than right. it is now. So I made the story 30 years ago. I wrote it. Uh, five uh, five issues, 110 pages, wrote the entire story out. And at the time, because once again, this is the 90s, I went against type because 90s comics, as if you remember, were very outlandish and extreme yeah. and everything was exploding extreme. and everything was super mega, yeah. mega ultra, whatever. So uh. this story was a very antithesis of that. It was very low key. So all the powers they have are very small and very intimate. And it's a very small, tiny story that takes place over, I think the main part of the story is like a day maybe. Right. It's just stuff happens and how they react to it. So I wrote it. I got a penciler 30 years ago. He drew it all out. It took him. I, it was his first time ever doing anything like this. It was a, uh, a brother of a friend of mine. And he was like, sure, I would like to draw it. And, and then he drew it. And over time, it improved. The, uh, the, the, the visuals improved so much so that at the end, I had him go back to redraw a couple of panels and pages from the first issue. So this, uh, the first issue that we have in the Kickstarter campaign actually has both old and new drawings mixed in. Oh. You can you can be like, okay, you can see a little difference if you know, but it, it right. still flows. Yeah. So then I ran into Pete. I was like, hey, Pete, you want to ink it? And Pete's like, yeah. So he started inking it. And then life happens. And then a pandemic happens. <laughs> and because of the pandemic, <laughs> Kickstarter exploded. The right. crowdfunding virtual yeah. stuff exploded. So circumstances yeah. was like, you know, I think I'm able to do it now because of crowdfunding and the way things yeah. are now that I would never have been able to do, which I've yeah. been trying to do all these years. And this looks like this is the opportunity. So that right. is how we get from being in the comic book school radio show all the way over here. And the radio show came out of my desire to get my book published. So I was, uh, I heard an advertisement when I was driving uh, from the cemetery one day and they were like, hey, if you have an idea or a passion for something and you want to talk to experts in your field, have a radio show. And I was like, that's a great idea. Maybe I can network and get my book published. Yeah. So in a roundabout way, it actually worked. It just took, uh, the radio show is going to be our 20th anniversary next year. So it took 20 years right. to, for it to work out. Right now, it's now it's all about the live streaming. Now this is live streaming is how we network now, right? So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, but the thing is though, but you're and the thing is though, you're not. That's not hyperbole. You really are on the radio. Yeah, it's an actual terrestrial radio uh, station and online radio station. So it's eighty-eight point one FM W A R Y in Westchester County, and then we're on mm -hmm. online radio stations, and then we're on over forty podcast places. So if you just right. type in our name, you can find us. If you right. have like, Spotify, always... iHeartRadio, all that stuff, we're on there. Right. Yeah. Because uh, yeah, but uh, the, to 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 reiterate something that uh, one of the comments, I, I'm sorry, for, uh, at TIC Studios. Um, yeah, it's a lot easier now. <laughs> that's for sure. Because it's like, what's uh, between then and now? What was like the main huge difference that you go is, oh my god, I can't believe I can do this now. The the reach. Right. Because back then you were the only way you can reach people if you were at a convention. Right. And yeah. even then, that's very limited because before this is before New York Comic Con, New York Comic Con, you know, all you had was San Diego, uh -huh. really. And living in New York, it costs an arm and a leg just to get to San Diego, let alone being having a table yeah. there and all that other mm -hmm. stuff. So yeah. you're a New York person, you have to hit the local conventions and you have to grind and you have to really 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 push as right. you are well aware yes it's like i said <laughs> the grind is real it's like you, you just don't stop uh, yeah because it's like uh, did you did you find like it's surprising that it's like oh snap i can do this in color or is your book in color the book will be in color that was one of those other circumstances all, right, okay. all the people that i know uh -huh. um they were like you know we can get it in color, but we have to get it funded for color. And right. you don't need to have it colored now. You can do a little bit of color now and the rest will fund and then we can finish right. coloring it. I'm like, huh, I never thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> you 
you know, just be a little careful with that because it's like, you know, you, 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 you know, it's like, you know, you, you want to be able, yeah, it's like you need, sometimes you do need the crowdfunding to pay for things, but you don't want to all of a sudden be six years down the road going, oh yeah, we still have to fulfill that campaign. So right. be careful with that. That's actually one of the <laughs> yeah. reasons why our yeah. goal is a little higher than, than normally for a uh -huh. first time out, because I'm like, these are the actual costs that all it's right. going to be. Right. Oh, okay. Cause I was going to, right. So, um, you want to, it's like, Hey, Hey, uh, Jody. Um, yeah, you want to, yeah. So here is uh, the campaign. So you started, so you launched it on Saturday. Yep, um, Saturday at so noon. Yeah. Is there a video we should, uh, like how long is, is the video on it? The video is two minutes long and it explains everything. And the, one of the reasons for that was, um, as as our discussion was right. to make sure the page isn't super 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 long right. and also to let people know that we have physical pages and it's almost done right so if you look at the video you'll have me actually flipping through the pages okay so let, let's check out the video and and yeah welcome to the designated kickstarter promotional video this is your narrator as well as the creator of designated martyr are y'all getting audio Yes. As we scroll through some pages, penciled by Jay Smith, with inks by Marvel and DC's very own Peter Palmiotti, with a cover by Babe artist Francesco, also inked by Peter Palmiotti, I will tell you a little bit about the book. Designated is a five-issue miniseries that tells the tale of two warring alien races, the peace-loving Forlorns and the warlike Geronians, fighting over a newly discovered power source, the Capricious Star. This war finds its way to Earth, and our five heroes, Natasha, Kelly, Chris, Adam, and his younger brother, Ed, not only wind up caught in the middle, but each gaining powers as a result. Designated has been a passion project of mine for almost 30 years. It is a full and complete story, over a five-part series, that is, and all 110 pages have already been written and penciled. With your support, you can help us get issue one colored, printed, and sent directly to you. Now, what Kickstarter campaign would be complete without perks? Not this one. We have a few items, such as digital and physical copies of the book, trading cards, original artwork, and few high-end collectors out there, custom-made five- and six-inch clay figurines as the main characters by clay sculptor Shadow Rabbit. You can see more of his finished stuff at www.shadowrabbitart.com. As I have said countless times on my syndicated radio show, it came from radio, which can be heard on both terrestrial and online radio stations, as well as on over 40 different podcast places. If you are unable to financially support this project, like and share it on your social media platforms. Maybe someone else who would you wouldn't even know about it will be able to help and be part of making this book a reality. Wow, that, that had some really like PBS Channel 13 vibes. <laughs> I actually <laughs> like that. <laughs> that you know, video and audio was so hard to do. You don't yeah. even know. You know, I mean, it's like, yeah, I think that there was like, there's a certain charm in the simplicity that you just went like, just straight, like, look, here are the pages. I'm just going to scroll through it. No special effects, no nothing, just the voiceover. And that's it, which goes to show you that, you know what, sometimes, you know, it's like, I don't know, the oddest things will, will kind of like appeal the most. Uh, to people, so uh, I hope people like that video because it's like I was like, oh, this is you know nice vibing thing, you know. It's like so. Uh, so here are the colored uh, pages. Um, so yeah, so you said that. Um, so the book is going uh, to be in color when it's printed. Correct. Right, and also the the thing that you said that you had the entire story penciled. Yes, the entire story is pencil, but we're uh, doing, um, yeah. so one of the, the hopes is that we have the ability to refer to the stretch goals uh -huh. that we can actually give you issue two, issue three, issue four, and do a trade if we make that that goal. Oh, okay. Because we have it all, it's it's there. The, right. the pencils and story is right. there. So that's like the advantage that we have. Right. So instead of like, um, I, I guess like doing individual issues, it's like it, depending on how this campaign goes, you actually might go straight to trade then. Yes, you could. So if we, we have it all set up, so um, we only have a little, uh, 
um, stretch goal right now, but if we reach that one, then I'll put up the next one and put up the next one as opposed to oh. having it all out there. Cause oh, okay. that's like, um, Oh, and there is sunburst right there who, uh, uh, like I said, it's like, that's the character that I always associate with you. <laughs> yep. So I felt that sometimes if you, if you say, Oh, we're going to make a, a 10 part series, right. People are like, Oh, 10 parts. So if you say, we have one part and you reach one part, like, Oh, we have a second part. I think it actually makes the, makes it better for the campaign. Uh -huh. That's just my personal opinion. Right. So that way people are like, oh, well, you know, they'll never make a bazillion dollars to get right. the whole trade, but let's just work on a little at a time. So right. yeah, it is, it is extremely possible to get the entire trade uh, with the, with the, with the backing and you won't have to pay more. So like if you right. get it and we reach it, you'll get issue two and issue one together. We get oh, issue one, two, and three together, right. one, two, three, four. And then so just pretty much depending, the stretch depending, goals will unlock new right. issues then which right. is other, right. which is pretty interesting yeah uh yeah so so yeah so francesco that's an i mean it's like you for as far as i'm concerned you went old school with this it's like like i said it's like like peter i know has been like you know we've been seeing each other also for for years we, we you know we've been seeing each other at san mm -hmm. diego um so kind of like so seeing you on this campaign is kind of like almost like oh it's like oh the band is getting back together again you know um so um and francesco is also a name that i haven't seen in a while like i remember him back when he was uh you know having he was like uh having his artwork printed in the uh was it it was it the the, the comics buyer's guide that newspaper as I don't quite remember it. No, I don't know if it was the comics buyer's guide. There was like a newspaper. Do you remember the name of that? That, you know, it's like, uh, oh, it was, it was a comics newspaper. Huh? Yeah. It might've been buyer's guide. Uh, I, yeah, I it might've been. I, yeah, I it was a newspaper. Yeah. yeah, there was a, a comics newspaper back then. Like, like literally, it's like yes, yes, all you youngins in in the chat. It's like we had to read a newspaper to get our the latest comic book news at the time. It's like none of this looking up on a website bullshit. We literally had to get a physical. Yeah, newspaper. and it was Comic Buyer's Guide. It was okay. Yeah, or, it was yeah. Uh, John Jackson Miller edited it. Right. You know, and uh, yeah, so it's just uh, so yeah, so uh, what made you so so yeah, so what made you get Francesco and you know, uh, Francesco was somebody who I had ran into, and the thing is, so the thing about Francesco is that we decided because neither one of us remembers how we originally met, so we decided <laughs> just to make up a story, and every time we make up a new story, and one of them's gonna stick, and that's gonna be the story right. of how we met, uh huh. So we met in a bar somewhere uh -huh. uh, talking about comics. And um, one thing led to another. And I was like, hey, I have an idea for a book. Would you want to do the cover? And he's like, sure. And um, one of the things that's interesting about Francesco back then, remember, this is this is throughout the 30-year story. Right, so yeah. I don't even know what part of the 30 years I ran into him. But he only <laughs> drew digitally. Right. So Pete is a traditional artist and he only uses on physical paper. And I remember that conversation like it was yesterday. I go, hey, Pete, I have a uh, Francesco to do the art. He's like, great. Have him send me the pages. And Francesco was like, there's no pages. There's no original. It's only digital. And Pete's like, what do you mean there's no original? What am I supposed to do with that? So Peter, so, <laughs> so you, uh, so e you ink completely traditional. You don't do digital inking either. Well, I, I yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm traditional. Uh, I do more blue line now, which is what it's called. Um, I guess that was the first time I experienced not inking over actual pencils. Um, but you know, f f I'm the only person to ink ink Francesco, so that's that's kind of cool. Um, oh. Yeah, it, he did a wonderful cover, and, and, and I really love the way it came out, and especially right, like, it looks awesome colored. Yeah. It's like, did, did Francesco do the coloring, or was there somebody else who did that? Um, he had his coloring guy do the mm. coloring. So right. He, yeah. so he, this was a, a one-of-a-kind thing that he actually let somebody else ink it, and then he got it back, and he right. sent it to his, his oh, coloring guy. So is that so? That's the cover, or is it's, that the variant cover? It's the it's the color adjacent. Um, I actually spoke to Francesco, and he said that he wants to do like a retouch up. 
Mm -hmm. So when he gets me that, we'll, we'll use that for the actual color. But it's kind of sign, going to kind of sort of look like that. Right. Uh, but th this is the cover to the, the first. But like I said, is it is the cover to the first issue or is it a variant cover? Uh, that will be, that's the idea of what the cover will look like. It's oh, okay. Right. A, it's going to sort of look like that, probably almost right. exact, but there's going to be little tweaks and changes. Right. Uh, an updated version. So that right. way just has, but it will be Francesco and it is a right. pizza ink sign. Right. So uh, let's see. So how many days are you running? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Those are the two. I think Comic Shop News is still around. Comic Shop News. Holy yeah. crap. I haven't yeah, heard yeah. that. No. Yeah, no. Usually when we go to, um, to uh, not your families, uh, <laughs> to Midtown, um, that they, they still have it there. So you have 29 days left to go. Yep. Um, so yeah, so yeah, you have, so you have a really, really odd numbered goal. Uh, cause it's like, I, I had to goof on it for a little bit. Like, <laughs> oh, why did you make it like 79 cents at the end of that? You know, it's like, you know, you know? so, and, but you said that there's a reason why the goal is very, that is that specific number. Yeah. It's, um, it was the ballpark estimate for printing, uh, shipping, uh -huh. and I was told by many people, do not underestimate the shipping, yeah. do not underestimate the fees. Yeah. And the one thing that did surprise me about Kickstarter was that there is a per backer fee. Yeah. And so I actually had to figure out how many, how much money would a person need to spend? How much would they take from that? Yeah. So that with the estimate of the publishing and printing and the coloring, and the lettering, that's where I came up with that number. Right. It's like, so, I mean, it, it, things, I don't know. It's like, it, cause it's like, cause that's usually not, we see that is usually not what we see on campaigns. It's like, oh, why didn't you just round it up? <laughs> well, that also, it, it creates a question and it creates a conversation and it creates ah, an eye. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> I did work a, a blockbuster for 10 years and I worked at a movie theater uh -huh. for 10 years. So that's 20 years uh -huh. of retail experience. All right. Oh, there you go. Everything's um, 99 yeah. cents, not yeah, a dollar. Exactly. Not a dollar, which makes it a bargain, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. You know, so, um, so, so let's see. So like you said, you can get digital copies, you can get the physical copies. The more um, you unlock on, uh, on the campaign, actually more issues you can get on right. this campaign um yeah it, it's like so so the thing is though so we, we we started off um you know the show talking about how a lot of people they get into the grind of doing like like this is technically your first comic isn't it um this is my first doing it myself comic like i said right. i did get my um the phaser crossover um issue mm -hmm. with uh, mariana caesar through rzg comics and right. that was a collaboration effort so um i i wrote some of the story he wrote some of the story and then he right. worked on the publishing end but this is all me right, right. for this particular book right. so what uh, so what did you do so when like when how long did it take from you to from deciding that okay we're going to do this crowdfunder <laughs> to now and how what did you do to prepare you know, oh, in mama. the meantime, in the meantime. So without getting into <laughs> the, 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 uh, the fun part of the, of the conversation, I, I was supposed to go through it with another publisher uh -huh. and I decided I should do it myself because of the conversations we had. So the circumstances were kind of, this is what we're going to do. This is the time frame we have. Oh, now I'm doing it by myself. Great. What do I need to do? Right. So I had a very small window to try and figure out what to do on my own based on what uh, what we were going to do with the publisher with a separate publisher and then talking to tons and tons of people. So uh, I had a, I had an hour over an hour long conversation with you and uh, JD mm -hmm. and I played that conversation many, many, many times. Um, the preparation was, can I get it done by myself? Right. So what what does that entail? And the biggest thing that I find was to have a graphic designer. So if I did not have a graphic designer, this whole thing would have never happened. And so I want to give a, a shout out. She's all the way at the bottom. That's Abby um, Gabato. She's uh, from the Philippines. She designed all this stuff. She did all the design work. And without that, it would have never happen. And it is beautiful. It's amazing what she did. And as, as there is a discussion going on about um, getting work overseas and outsourcing overseas, right, yeah. the price was phenomenal 
based on what I was told this sort of thing would have cost. Right. Yeah. I, I mean, it, it's, you know, it's funny. It's like, I, I, I'm so used to doing everything myself. Like, it, like a graphic designer is not something I would have even thought about, you know, like I'm the one putting together the files and doing the graphics and everything. But the thing is, oh yeah, that's something that depending on what your skill set is. Yeah. I mean, is she going to be putting together the files for print for you as well? Uh, yeah, yes. so she's doing all that technical stuff. And it's like, yeah, and it's like, that's something that when you're going into, like you, the general you, going into, like, like doing something like this, um, that's just as important as everything else. It's like, yeah, how are you going to get this together to print? How are you going to create that visual branding? that will help sell your book. Um, yeah, and that's something to consider. Like I said, I'm used to doing this all by myself. So um, even, even the, the the logo that we right. have, the MSC Studios logo, Pete uh -huh. and her designed that together. Right. So it's just the little things like, I need a logo. What do you mean right. I need a logo? Right. What do you mean I need a, a <laughs> what do you mean? logo? <laughs> what, is that? What, are you, what are you talking about? Right. So those are all the things that you don't even think about right, until yeah. you get down to it, the nitty gritties. Right. So, it, so you know, it has, so I guess like these were kind of like the little surprises. So what other kind of little surprises that you were like going, wait a minute, I have to do that? What is that? You know, it's like, and what, or, or was there any big surprises that kind of like came out of nowhere, you know? Like, Since I'm, I'm not technology friendly, that's uh -huh. another thing just that video like holy crap that video was so hard to do because just getting the, the the camera to get it to work yeah. to get the lighting right to get to just have that background and the images that was so it took me right. like two days to figure that part out yeah and then to do the audio i had to do a separate audio and i don't know how to edit that stuff so i had to get the graphic designer to, to put that together so right there those little things all had up so much every little every little little change every little bit is so it's so many things that you don't know you have to do the biggest thing um how hard is this gonna be <laughs> it's like um i remember <laughs> in 2008 when i first went to san diego comic-con everybody kept on telling me how big it was how big what the place was how physically right. large that yeah. place was i was like yeah yeah yeah, it's bigger you know whatever. and when i get there i was like holy crap it's really that big yeah just like everybody's telling you it's gonna be hard work but until you actually do it, you don't know how hard work it is. Yeah. Um, I, I always like I always uh, liken this to um, making a movie. Like you think it's gonna be easy. Oh, you just get a couple of actors, you read the script, you, you know, film some stuff. No, it's really hard. Yeah. yeah. And then it's harder than you think it is. So think how hard it could possibly be, and then make it harder. <laughs> it's like it's like hiring a contractor. If a contractor mm. tells you it's gonna take two weeks, it's actually going to take a month and a half. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. The the movie analogy is is yeah because Nita uh, did uh, uh, effects makeup for movies. Um, we went through this entire thing where JD went to a uh, film school for you know I don't, I don't i don't remember how long but it's like yeah he went to film school and yeah it's it's definitely not what you think it is you know um it, yeah it's everything is a lot harder than than you think it's going to be <laughs> I, I blame i blame uh pop culture for that right yeah if you watch, you watch <laughs> movies and tvs oh it seems easy yeah you just get together and make a road trip no right no. yeah exactly no th there is there is something to that you know that it's like yeah it's, it's like the whole thing with san diego it's like you know everyone says how big it is and then you go over there and it's like Holy crap! It took me forty-five minutes just to walk from one end to the other without mm -hmm. really looking at anything. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. So, um, so yeah. So I, I mean, it's like I know that. Uh, so, so, so Peter, do you have any take on on this camp? I mean, because you're you're just a veteran uh, of all this, you know. So, it, do you have like a, a yeah, take on you know. any of this? Or? Oh, that's yeah. Uh, I will say, like, the the first issue is fully inked. I got pages of uh, issue two and three inked, uh, but I'll be focusing on issue two now. Um, you know, if we if we crowdfund and it goes insane, and, and we get the trade, 
uh, or the whole graphic novel, um, then I'll just I'll just work on, on getting right. it done. <laughs> right. Oh, so there you go. But yeah, I'm, it's, I'm juggling it's, a lot of uh, a lot of different projects right now. Right. I, I could imagine. <laughs> yeah. You know. But but yeah. So so even if you don't make it to the trade paperback in this campaign, so how are you planning on doing the next campaigns? Are you just going to go straight to trade paperback? Or are you going to like release each issue until you until you fund enough to get to the trade? So that's an interesting question, and I will be able to answer that better in the future. Twenty, 20 days. Until <laughs> <20 days. laughs> uh, so we see what's going on. Okay. But um, one of the things that that was a possibility was going through Zoop. Uh, Zoop, mm. uh, we it's a new guy on the on the on the field. I I, I liken them to the fox. Right. Being Fox Network back in the day, it was wow. only three, and then Fox comes along as the, you know, the upstart guy. Uh -huh. um, we had an interview with the, the head. He was a very mm -hmm. nice guy, and we, we spoke a lot. And he was like, if you have the project a little more finished, right. you, you can do it on Zoom, and they will do everything for you. So oh. right there, right. They, they, they design everything. They, 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 will, they actually now have a fulfillment portion Oh, of, of Zoom now, which is mm -hmm. separate. So you can just right. go to them just to fulfill. So he said, you know, come back a little more. You need a little more. Right. Come back. So if I if if just by this, if we get a little more ready, you know, if, if everything's all lettered and everything, the book is ready in PDF form and ready to go out, even if we don't fund, it's more finished. Right. So I can go like, hey, look, this is what I got. Because he right. seemed very open to talking about it. Uh -huh. So that that's that my thing. So if that's the case, and we're like, yeah, we can do a whole thing through right. them. So we don't oh, know. Oh, so there you go. So, but like you said, we have to wait another twenty days to yes. see how that uh, how that works out. So, uh, yeah, because obviously this is a this is this is a big learning experience for you, and uh, yeah, and it's just just a step at a time. Just breathe and step at a time. That that's all. First, cool. Yeah, first time's always a kick in the dick. It gets easier. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't like I don't like actually it doesn't <laughs> yeah actually it doesn't get easier but you know <laughs> you become more accepting of it right yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. well yeah yeah it's always uh it's always it becomes ritualistic I, I welcome the ball like, kicking <laughs> You know what? Ritualistic is a good word. <laughs> Thank you. May I have another? Yes, it, it really does. No, I'm I'm serious. Yeah. It's like even look, we've done like 30. I've I've stopped counting, but 30 something campaigns, and every campaign, it's like there's something new we have to do. There's something new we have to try. We learn something. It's like, will it work here? Will it work there? And it's it's always something. So. I mean, it's like, look, uh, in, in the end, uh, all you have to do is just, you know, you know, have fun with the work you're doing. And, you know, and it's like, and just, yeah, just keep hustling, keep it consistent. And, you know, and remember, yeah, consistency better than perfection. So, you know, even, even if yeah. you don't make the goals that you, that you're kind of expecting, um, th there's always, there, there's always a way to move forward with it so it's like you said well let's see let's let's revisit yeah. this in 20 days <laughs> you know? so um as so you can see failure like, would be stopping right exactly yes, yes. exactly that, that, that's the only time you fail right really. exactly you know um so as you can see it's on kickstarter right now what's the name of the book again i'm sorry designated sorry. designated so it's like so uh it designated is on kickstarter right now um link is going to be in the show notes so yeah so the sooner we get this funded i guess the faster they can get to a trade paperback so yeah. and we all you know and we were all talking about you know yeah trade paperbacks are easier to collect for us than individual issues so so check out everything in uh the show notes below so uh mark oh, wait, you want to tell every one other oh. thing there's two other things i wanted to mention oh, okay, um, so go in, ahead. In, in the campaign we have original artwork for sale like mm -hmm. the pages are actual mm -hmm. physical pages so we can right. uh, they'll be randomly inserted if you uh, get that right. we have a uh, one of those tiers and as i uh, mentioned okay. for the super high tiers for the clay figurines um they look like this <laughs> oh oh look at how nice oh, they are yeah. that's cute so this is a five inch figurine uh -huh. uh, by shadow rabbit art so if you're a high-end collector you can right. get a custom made character of one of the characters oh, of the wow. book. Oh, very nice. Very nice. So it looks like that. I always wanted to point that out that this is uh -huh. what it actually looks like. 
because uh-huh. the the image isn't that great on the on the campaign but like this is well you really know things nice. like that you know like it depends on how you photograph it and what but it's always interesting to see yeah, it in toys person. figures hollows and silvers never the pictures never do them just yeah exactly yeah so i so i had to i had to show that since we're all oh no video. absolutely get that puppy yeah. out there Oh, uh, is that? But also, is that a limited edition, or is it like one of? Uh, they're one? custom. They're custom, handmade, handcrafted. So, if oh, you, okay. You, know, you, know, you can have whatever pose, whatever character you want. You can right. pick any of the the six right. characters, and then um, I know for the super high end, he said that he's willing to do a diorama or like a battle scene with all oh. the characters in there, oh, nice. wow. or, a ten, or a ten inch figure with that's even more details, and right. you get to decide what poses or whatever you want. Oh, the okay. Characters. So there you go. So so there you go. So everyone support the campaign so you don't miss out on that uh, opportunity because yeah that, that's pretty cool so where can uh, everybody find you mark aside from the uh, Kickstarter, of course i always like to say uh just google it came from the radio uh, usually we're in the top five um because the name is so uh, unusual but just google it came from the radio you can find us anywhere uh wwi came from radio.com we, re- we are a weekly show um if you're living in westchester county new york 88.1 fm wary if not we're on uh, online radio stations and we're also on um over 40 podcast places like spotify itunes or any of those things just type it in it came from radio and we'll pop up there you go so peter where can the peoples find you uh you can find me everywhere online uh just uh, google my name peter pagani um on facebook instagram twitter youtube other places <laughs> right there you go. and you, also you do your own uh stream show too as well right or you're kind of you're you're, you're too busy right yeah. now well uh, no that's... no i'm stre- i'm streaming every day yeah. this month i got multiple projects to promote so uh yeah i'm i'm inking stuff i'm making my own art um inking pages whatever comes up <laughs> Oh, All their go. information can be found in the show notes. It oh. keeps him honest and working if he's on video working. Right. Yeah, there you go. That's true. That's true. Yeah, um, yeah I, I'm beginning to get into that myself. So so I just want to thank everybody in the chat for joining us. I want to thank uh, the mystery people who are also watching us from regions beyond. Uh, if you're watching from uh, Facebook or Twitter, uh, thank you for spending this hour with us on this or at least on my end, this dreary, muggy Monday morning ish. Rose here too. It's great. Yeah. So uh, thank you, thank you for for coming. Um, and uh, Nita, where can uh, everybody find you? Uh, you can find me on Facebook as Nita Lanning. You can find me on Twitter at c underscore chaos two four seven and other accounts there as well with the same name. And anywhere you can find the Ragin Banner. Oh, there you go. And if you want to learn more about me and my work and my comics and all that fun stuff, you can head on over to my main portfolio site at egoworks.com, E-G-O-W-O-R-K-S, where you can find links to all of my galleries and social media sites. But I mostly post to Facebook if you're into seeing all my, you know, brand new artwork, works in progress, the whole nine yards there. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty much more active on Facebook than any, any place else. Um, again, you can check me out on my YouTube channel at Daphne Lage Art, where I have a Wednesday stream uh, from four to six. Uh, and also uh, at Eagle Works, you can read the first five issues of Eagle Raven, Air the First Unicorn, in its original black and white format. But if you prefer your fantasy to be more of a Lord of the Rings type of adventure, Follow the link over to Tall Tales, T-A-I-L-S online.com, and read the first 20 issues of Tall Tales for free. So on that note, again, I just want to thank everybody for joining us. Check out all the links in the show notes below. And uh, yeah, so uh, the next time you'll see me is tomorrow on Facebook. I will be doing my hour-long kind of drawing music stream again. I'm still, you know, kind of like working this experiment uh, on Facebook. So if you don't follow me on Facebook, follow me on Facebook so you can watch uh, my stream uh, uh, tomorrow. Uh, and then it's like, I have my stream on Wednesday. We do it again on Facebook on, on Thursday. And then I'm back with Nita on Friday, uh, at 11 AM. And it like I said, make sure you hit the, you hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. So that you get notified whenever any of our shows go live. So you don't miss a thing. So on that note, in the words of the ancients, eat your food, uh, moisturize, Mind your business and do the work 
because when you actually do the work, you never have to fake any of your accomplishments. Any any uh, words from the ancients from you, Anita? <laughs> Hit the button. There you go. Can't get any simpler than that. So, see you later. Bye. Bye.